Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will create the UI for this vehicle and you can see when we stay near the vehicle, we can enter the vehicle by press C We show the speed speedometer to show the speed of the vehicle We will create the material for the font of the number of the speedometer and let's slow down and this speed down widget will disappear first we have to go to city sample project we have to migrate some of the texture and font for our vehicle go to ui and this font right click Choose migrate and we migrate all this font. Okay. Choose the destructible vehicle project and go to content, select folder, texture, button, and PC. We need this key UI PC key and migrate this okay like for the driving we need all of this migrate okay and select for the then the menu we need ui frame shadow and UI Matte Scan. Press Ctrl and click on it. Then right click, migrate. Click OK and select folder. And go to Destructible Vehicle Project. Open this UI and we have the font and the texture for creating our speedometer UI. Now we have to create the material, new folder, materials, then right click and choose material, name it M with the matter and open it. First, we choose the material domain, choose user interface. And we choose this because this type of material can use for UMG, that is Unreal Motion Graphic UI Designer. Get the texture, driving, and use this UI speed prop wheel. Need it to final color and the opacity. Choose blend mode, translucent, and apply. Because when we drive faster and then we want this to show the speed of the vehicle, we need to hide some of this texture for the circle get texture coordinate and call subtract subtract it with 0 0.5 and then multiply press 2 and click to create the vector 2D and that's R is minus 1 and G is 1 multiply it with this vector then call vector to radial value Convert it to angle, we add it. 
create a parameter one and click and then connect it to this add right click and convert to parameter the name is percent and call floor and the alpha we multiply it with the floor connect it to the opacity and save close this and we create the next material by click material the name is m u i font color we want this to be the font material that looks cool and we go to texture menu ui matte scan line you can see this line here it's just a straight line and click on one and click the value is 0 0.05 and then call panel and connect it to speed and connect it to the UV this material we chose user interface because the user interface material can use on the phone and connect to final color this panel will move this line upward so you can see the motion of it get time use period time the when second and ignore pause then call sign call slam min and make and this is the time press on one on the keyboard hold it and click on the mouse to create this bright ball and 0 0.5 and copy this one make it to min and make and another one called texture coordinate then call custom rotator value is 0 0.25 and rotate angle call linear gradient copy this clamp for you gradient the min is 0 0.5 and the max is 1 for this we set the line to be softer at the edge of this texture RGB and we blend screen and we connect to this base and let's connect to the final color you can see this and then let's blend this one to blend add line and blend with this and connect to this blend screen and now you can in the 
you can see in this period of time this will go on and off now let's create the widget go to ui and create new folder the folder name is blueprint and create new folder can play and open go to user interface and widget blueprint and choose this user widget the widget name is bp city sample driving ui and open it move it here first we need to add the canvas search for canvas panel drag it here and we set it to full screen for this canvas and then search for gel box and use this inside the canvas and name it to fit the mirror the anchor position x is 50 position y is minus 350 side x is 300 and side y is 200 and we side to content in the ball we add this scale box because it allows you to place the content to the desired side and it meets the box area that you put it the min is a row max is one and another one max is one we have to set this anchor first before we set the position so the position will change after we adjust the anchor and set it back to minus 350 and this is the location next we search for canvas and drag it inside this speedometer rename it to Speedometer canvas use this horizontal alignment to feel horizontal and this feel vertically then search for image and use this image click on the image then rename it to line display img image and the anchor is center you can type this 0.5 and the position x is minus 27 position y minus 2 the size is 340 and 340 and the alignment is 0.5 and 0.5 for it to stay at the center choose brass and choose the image we use this material M speed and set the image size to 340 and 173 and find the render transform and expand this for the angle is minus 30 Search for overlay and drag it here. 
We use overlay because it allows the widget to stack on top of each other. And that shows the anchor is center. Position X is 0 and Y is 0. The size is 300 and another one is 200. Align is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Reset the size to content. So for image and drag it under this overlay and this image name it to blur. You can choose the brass image. Go to texture and driving this UI speed blur. You can see this blur, we have three blur for the number of the speed. And use this. Set the image size to 400 and 200. And set this tint to green. You can use this color. It's 228A1AFF. And click OK. And choose box. The margin set to 0.2. And then the padding set to minus 20. The left minus 20 minus 20 and the bottom is minus 20 and set this horizontal alignment to center align and then go to render transform we set this translation to 35 Next, we add the vertical box under this blur and this vertical box. And then call canvas panel and add it to the vertical box. The padding, the thumb is 64. And this horizontal wheel. Then we search for image and add the image. The image we can use UI speed inner. And the scale is the size of it is. 309 and 249. Rename it to bit the image and choose the anchor is center and the position is minus 65. Y is minus 35. The size it is four hundred sixteen, and the size of the Y is two hundred twelve. Alignment is draw point five, draw point five, and scroll down to the transform. The scale is draw point seventy four and 0 0.24 and set the angle to minus 30 next we add another image and this name is fit diameter rock bg and choose the anchor 
is center and use this rock bg speed ui image texture the size is 340 and 123 and the position is minus 66 and this position is minus 38 and the size is 318 and 160 and the alignment is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and scroll down for this angle we set it to minus 30 and we can see this after call next we search for tag and this is the tag drag it here and the name is bit background for the background we need to set this the order to minus one so it stay at the back of other widget and the anchor we choose center and the position is 40 position y is 35 and side h is 300 and side y is 200 and the alignment is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and this tag is 0, 0, 0, 3 number we have 3 digit and we have to choose the color or is 0 0.46 2, 0, 7, 7. And G is 0 0.4232 and 6, 8. And B is 0 0.3564. And the opacity, we want it to look transparent. So set it to 0 0.12 and the font we chose city sample default font and the typeface is all italic size is 130 and letter space is 80 and then use the font material the material that we create this line material so use it inside this font material and choose this justification to align tag right now add another tag and we name it to speed lab and the anchor we use the center the position x is minus 77 position y is 36 and the side 135.1 8 and the side by is 200 alignment is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and go to the color and opacity we use 0 0.89 and T is 0 0.95 and 0 0.88 
and a is 0 0.9 and choose city sample default font and use bold italic this size is 130 and font material use this MUI font color justification to center and the tag is zero then copy this control D duplicate and rename it to speed center and this position it is 31 and position y is 35 it stay at the center and duplicate rename it speed right and the position h is 140 and y is 35 sorry and y is 35 and now we have this three number digit now add x and rename it to bit unit and choose the center anchor position is 148 and y is 135 scale is the size is 43.9 and 4 and this y size is 30 and alignment is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and side to content use the tag is mph mail per hour and the color is 0 0.6 and 0 0.55 0. 46 and alpha is row point 75 one family is city sample and bold italic size is 30 justification set to center then we set this bit left is right ball and this one center is right ball and the right is right ball go to graph add function the function name is on update we call speed and add the input is speed and the input driver is float and go to event graph and create a initialize event on initialize get line display image and get dynamic material and promote it to variable this variable name is line effect and go back to on update we call speed get line effect or set scalar param scalar parameter value 
and this parameter name is percent and w we use this speed divide it at variable the variable name is top speed and variable type is load compile and set this top speed to 200 get the top speed divide with this top speed and multiply it with 0 0.5 and it to the value you can see this material we have this percent variable so we set this percent variable and then we double click on this and create absolute get speed left that take this function divide it with 100 because this is the third digit we call floor and to pack integer and connect it to this tag next is get speed center and set tag and this absolute we we search for percent and 100 divide it by 10 for the second digit and floor to take integer next to this tag and speed right that tag then we use this floor and multiply it by 10 and subtract it with this value and call floor to take integer connect it to this tag for the last digit and go to event we need to update this so add new variable the variable name is we call and variable type is bp we call base and get this we call call is valid and then we get we call movement component get forward with mph because our unit is mph and call on update we call speed and this is the speed we update it every tick close all of these first Click yes close this the tool we call map and we call 
blueprint we call by and this car interaction right click it did bp car interaction we continue from open the door so then add a new custom event down here the name is add driving ui and all create widget and for the ui choose this bp ct sample driving ui and promote it to variable the variable name is ct sample driving ui then add it to viewport and we get the vehicle and we need to set this vehicle or set vehicle variable because when we see this the sample driving UI, we have this we call variable that used to get the speed of the vehicle. We set it after we create the widget and create a custom event. The name is remove driving UI and remove this by get city sample driving ui and call remove from parent widget connect it to remove from parent widget let's add this driving ui so go to intercar custom event and after we close the door and before we call complete, we add driving UI. Comment on this. When we exit the car, and before we call this complete, we remove the driving UI. And another one, when we enter car teleport, before we call this complete function, we add driving UI. And let's save all. Now let's play test. Let's go to our vehicle. Press C. And after we enter the vehicle, we can see this. And it shows the speed of this vehicle. We have the circle, half circle that show the speed of it. And let's slow down. And exit this vehicle. Now this widget, we remove it. And we have a little bit of glitch for our character with the camera. So go to third person character, blueprint, third person, and this character mesh, search for collision, and we see this camera is blocked. So choose custom and set this camera to overlap. Now we need the UI to show when we go near the car, you can enter the vehicle. 
virtual UI and blueprint and new folder name it utility and create a new widget user interface widget blueprint user widget the name is BP city sample button from open it because we will use this widget inside another widget so we change this fair screen to desire and search for overlay and drag it here and search for horizontal box add it inside the overlay and then add another overlay inside this horizontal box we name it to image overlay and set it to center line and this padding left is thick search for border and add it inside this overlay the border we use the border is a container widget that can have the background so zoom it and use this center line for the content and then search for image drag it inside the border and this image we adding set all to zero and the image we use this picture a ton pc this ui pc key and the size is 64 and 64 and search for text drag it inside this border this tag we set the button to 2 and align center tag is C capital C you can see we use the border because we have one image at the background of this this C tag and choose the city sample font and regular and the font is 24 for this image we can rename it to button image and then we add the text to the horizon all box and rename it to from text right and set this vertical line to center align vertically and this text is dry and font family it is sample regular 32 the size of the font we see this button is not transparent because our border the color we have to set the alpha to zero now we have the transparent button now go to blueprint gameplay and create the new widget user widget 
name is BP City Sample Interact from open this and we add a canvas and all then search for overlay and add the, the overlay the overlay anchor is center and this position set to 139 h and y is minus 80 the size is 128.6 and the size y is 100.5 we don't care much about this size because we will set this size to content true the size it depend on the content then search for image drag it inside this overlay and this image name is Dakan and use the image for the texture from the menu is UI frame shadow you can see this image just transparent line so use it inside this and the image size is 310 and Y is 220 and then search for the widget that we create BP City Sample button prompt use it under this darken and padding set left to 10 up is 10 right is 10 and bottom is 10 and set it to center align you can't see the dry because you have to go to this city sample button from and click on the dry for the visible that it to not hit test the ball compile let's save it and we can close all of this blueprint go to we call blueprint blueprint destruction and event and create a new custom event the name is add interact widget and we create widget use this gameplay and interact widget promote it to right ball we name it to interact widget and add to viewport and we create this only when our interact widget is not valid and another custom event rename it to remove interact interact widget you can have this space for easier to read 
and get interact widget is valid when this interact widget is valid we remove from parent after we remove we set this to empty set the variable compile and scroll down to this BP car interaction I click it did this interaction and add function the function name is is interactable get owner and has to be p we call base destruction and then get player character has to BP third person character and this function click on it for the output we add the output name is interactable and when it's as file we return out with interactable is for is ball we return out with interactable is ball and then get owner get actor up with the and break this with the and if it is less than zero we set it to flip this means the car is flip and connect it here and from this we call base destruction we get door collision this right ball and call is overlapping actor overlapping the set with the third person character call and boolean get flip and call not boolean next to end and then copy this return and we return with the interactable and compile go to the we call base destruction and in the event at interact widget get BP car interaction and call is interactable if it is interactable we create the widget so we don't want to create the widget when the car is flipping also when the character is not overlap with door collision now let's call this event at interact widget when the character begin overlap we call this at interact widget and find the door collision here 
scroll down and on component add overlap create this event move it here when it's add overlap we call remove interact widget bp car interaction event graph when we enter the car on the custom event we play the montage and get we call call remove interact widget and another one at the inter car teleport event for this at after we add driving ui we get we call and remove interact widget and now save all and play test now when we go near this we can enter the vehicle and when we get out of this collision we don't have the widget press C and it remove this widget and create another speedometer get out and it is work with the left and the right this the last you can see there are two layers the, the first one it's deformed and the second one is not deformed at the outside of it so go to we call base destruction and for the on hit mesh component we get an breakable glass component and call for each loop and we destroy component I am so grateful for your generous support on Patreon this month we have Patreon supporters and it's really helped me a lot thank you very much and if you like this video please hit like and subscribe see you in the next tutorial